Illinois, and he's only a sophomore. Here he is, Caleb Brown off a reverse. He has daylight, and he's going to go 87 yards for an early touchdown. That's why he's being recruited by the big schools, including Michigan and Notre Dame. The Titans came back after a Davian Foreman interception. It's John Stark throwing and connecting with big Nico Sudeikis for a 14-yard touchdown. The game is tied at 7 early in the second quarter. Boylan was threatening again in the second quarter at the St. Rita 5, but this time Stark is going to be picked off in the end zone. The Titans trailed 14-7 at halftime. The third quarter was all St. Rita. Brown, out of the Wildcat, runs it in for a 21-7 St. Rita lead. Later in the third, it's St. Rita's other speedster out of the backfield, Kyle James. He's a junior. He goes 70 yards to put St. Rita up 35-7. The Titans kept battling. Stark is going to loft one. And Xavier Bryant has it. Watch him collide with a ref. But he stays on his feet, and Bryant scores a 61-yard touchdown. But the Mustangs' main man, Caleb Brown, did his thing again on the following kickoff. He heads for the near sideline, uses a stiff arm to fight off a Titan, and Brown is going 88 yards for his fourth touchdown of the game. That kid has two more years of high school left, folks. The Titan season ends with a 42-21 loss. I'm proud of my team, the way we fought all four quarters. If it slipped away, it slipped away. But I'm thankful I rode with these boys here. Uh, you know, I was happy with our kids just, just came in swinging. We knew this was a very good football team. You saw a very good football game and a very good football team, a deadly, a dangerous uh, football team. So uh, you found out how good that back is. We're proud of our season. We're proud of uh, how we finished here. We're proud of uh, how we didn't quit. The Titans finished their season with a 12-1 record, and I would not bet against St. Rita next week in the 5A championship game against Rochester. Samantha, back to you. All right, thanks, Scott. Next up, it was Byron taking on Princeton in Class 3A. With scoreless in the first, guys in white trying to get on the board. Ben Carlson finds Isaac Stickler before he gets knocked down by Princeton. Wyatt Davis still good enough for a first down. Later, Carlson on the keeper punches it in for one yard touchdown. Byron was up 7 to 3 at the half. The rest of the game continued to be a defensive battle. In the fourth, now Princeton trying to get something going. Tyler Gibson rolls to his right, thinks he's got someone, but he gets picked off by Dane Snodgrass. A huge Huge play there. Byron goes on to win the low scoring game 7 to 3. The Tigers are headed to state for the second year in a row. I'm so happy for these kids because they, uh, you know, they uh, came up a little bit short last year, 24 20. For, for them to get back and have another opportunity at it, it, you know, I'm so proud of them. They worked so hard in the offseason and throughout the season, and we've gotten better each and every week. I'm not satisfied in second, and uh, we're trying to win it, so I just want to get back there like we are now, and hopefully we can finish the job. We're all going to come focused on Monday, and, you know, I think this is going to be our best game yet, so stay tuned. Now, next week, if we get into clutch situations, we know how to handle ourselves, and we're experienced with that now.